big happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, y'all. This is a Mother's Day set. And let me just give y'all a clap for all the hood mothers out there. All the hood mothers out there that are raising suburban children. Let me... Okay, because people don't understand the struggles. Because, 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 because our kids are so like nothing like we were are and we don't we can't we wanted to raise them we kind of wanted to raise them like how we were raised if you're old school you know what i'm saying like me but we had to realize that i don't know what type of breed these kids are like they are definitely not cut from the same cloth that we was cut from and oh my God, God bless you if you are dealing with teenagers, because teenagers, look, <laughs> y'all see my son in them tattoos. How you going to be hood and suburban at the same time? Like, what what, what struggles have you had? Like, really? What, what are you out here telling these people? Why, why, why do you have a spider web tattoo? Like, what what is this all about like please 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 explain to me your troubles explain to me your troubles i'll wait the problem is they've been listening to all this gangster rap music and they think they're that. listening to lotto cardi b and doja cat like <clears throat> ma'am <clears throat> no I just don't get it, y'all. I just don't get it. Like, I really feel like a lot of the times, like, they don't want to do stuff because they think that the world is coming to it. And so they feel like they don't have to do anything because Jesus is coming back tomorrow. But I'm just like, boy, girl, you still got to work and you still got to do what you need to do. Why are you waiting on Jesus to come back? That might not be on me. That might be TikTok's fault. And they all just, all of them act the same. They all act the same. Don't think that your teenager is better than the next teenager because they're not. Hoodies in the summertime. Oh, oh, and they all do this. Oh yeah, just wait till I'm 18. Just wait till I'm 18. I'm gonna move out of here. I'm gonna be on my own. I will, I will have no rules. I will make my own rules and you're gonna see. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Stay lying. And they swear up and down when they have kids. They ain't going to treat their kids the way that you treat them. I don't care if there are flowers growing in Antarctica. You are going to do what the fuck I say. Why you living in my house? Don't pay nobody's bills. The school bus you literally would just pull up right here in front of the house. And they still going to miss the bus. How you going to miss the bus when you don't have to do nothing but walk out of your front door and walk onto the school bus? I to have to walk 6.3 miles to get to my bus in the snow in the rain in the sleet in the cold in the heat in the sun i was hot 102 degrees at 4 30 in the morning because i had to be at the bus stop by six yeah real niggas all day just me by myself on the block holding it down getting my waist straight face all day, not a day, in jail, by myself. One bed, no pillowcase, one pillow. Didn't nobody write me, it was early. Woke up, went back to sleep, took a nap. You have to go night night, nigga? You have to go night night? Their struggles are not having Wi-Fi. Oh, and that's another thing. They don't want to get up and do them dishes. Turn that Wi-Fi off. No, let me say something. No, don't if tell I, me. If I was in here, I would surely take a day off from you and then a day off from these kids. These kids. I felt that in my soul because I need a day off. I need a week off. I need two weeks off. Some liquor and I need me a nice fat blunt all together in one. Give it to the same time i never wanted to spend one day with my kids on mother's day i'm just being honest y'all because i was a stay-at-home mom for over 10 years on mother's day look go with your daddy go with your daddy let mama do her thing let me go kick it with the girls let me go to the mall let me have a spa day let me do me honey let me do me i need a break okay i'm gonna let y'all listen to this 
listen to this y'all and tell me what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll be back. So this new trend about being like a hood parent raising suburban kids, like that's, that's me and my children's father. We grew up in the same area and it's considered like one of the hood areas in the state that we're from. And now we're raising like suburban children. And it's funny because sometimes I think we'll get frustrated at them for not being as mature as we were at their age. But truth be told, that is an indicator that we did what we were supposed to. We were mature because we were exposed to trauma that forced us to be mature. Our kids have been kids their whole lives. They haven't had to face the same trauma. And it's like, I'll never forget the first time I saw a video on that and I was like, oh my God, they're right. Like, because my kids are still like immature and kids, it means like we did it. And it's so crazy because I remember the first time I saw it and I remember how emotional I got because I was like, dang, I never, I never thought about it that way how we were raised in such trauma that we had to be like little adults, whereas our kids just get to be kids. And sometimes I'm like, why, 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 why do you do that? And then I'm like, oh yeah, because you're kids and you're supposed to think like that and you shouldn't have to have the maturity to know better at the age you're at because you shouldn't have experienced the things that would make you be mature in that way. It is, um, it is very satisfying to know that because I think I suffered a lot of guilt having them because I was young. But now I realize even though I was young and they were born, like I, we did it. We did it. We are hood parents raising immature suburban kids just the way we're supposed to be. Real immature suburban kids because while that was playing y'all, I was sitting here rolling my little thing around on my desk looking for my big clippers y'all the big mouth clippers you know those real big ones that we were talking about not too long ago i think uh oh my gosh um where are they at y'all um the big mouth clippers what i be taking my palms off with and then momo had got some on her she had just showed some they're gone y'all they're gone let me find out my boys been up in here taking my shit so that they can clip they thick ass, big ass toenails. And I done told them to stay the fuck out of my nail room. Oh, here they are. Here they are. My bad. My bad. That's like literally all the trauma that my kids have probably ever heard their entire life is me bitching. That's not true, except that one time where I had held my son down and I had cut all his dreads off. Yeah, I think he was like 14. You know, because at, at that age, it was either cut his dreads off or kill him. There was no other, I had no other choice. And I do it again, because guess what? It's just hair. It's just hair. My son, when his hair would grow out, his attitude would change. You know what I'm saying? His attitude would change. He had an attitude when that hair grew out, honey. And I remember when he was little, every time he started to get an attitude, I would give him a buzz cut, y'all. I, I kid you not. He would look like he was going into the military. And every time I did that, he would turn right back into that little precious little boy that I always knew he was that I raised because when his hair started growing out, he started turning into like Satan's child. I don't even know who he was. So like that was one thing that I would do. But now, you know, they're too. Look, they be trying to test my gangster sometimes and they do ask me for haircuts, y'all. I still cut their hair to this day. And you know what? That might just be enough trauma to set them over the edge. That is, I just thought about that is a great idea. I could pretend like the clipper slipped. Now this next video is not for people who don't have kids. 
it's not for first time mothers. It's not for mothers who just had a baby and, you know, the baby is an infant. This is not for anyone that hasn't had at least two kids and has went through the teenager stage, made it past the teenager. So if you have had kids and you haven't made it past the teenager stage yet, this ain't for you. This is not for you because you're not finna get up on here and judge us. Okay. You don't feel our pain. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Like, it was cute and all to have one kid, but then I turned around and had three more. Who does that shit? Like, come on now. Like, be for real. Like, what were, what was I literally thinking? Okay? And look, kids are cute and all, right? Like, when they're little. When they're newborns. Like, when all they do is sleep, eat, and shit. Like, when they don't bother you. But then they turn into little shits when they're toddlers. Like, they don't sit still. They're always touching shit, making a mess. Like, always want to have you on your tippy toes. Like, for what? Yeah, that toddler stage, like, I thought that was the worst stage ever, right? And then they get to that stage where they're like, you know, 8, 9, 10. They just be chilling. Like, they're innocent, you know what I'm saying? They just want to play video games and be cool. You know what I'm saying? But then... They turn into fucking teenagers. And I swear to God, don't nobody ever prepare you for that teenager stage. Like, there's no book. There's no parenting class. There is nothing in this world that can prepare you for for to deal with a motherfucking teenager. Let me tell y'all. Because, like, I'm ready to fucking... I can't even say what the fuck I want to do. Because y'all going to call DCFS on me. I'm telling you, teenagers are the fucking worst like the worst like bro that shit is fucking terrifying it's traumatizing i have ptsd okay and then they got things like dcfs in place right that's what they call it out here but y'all know the system to protect children protect children like i was in the system they didn't protect me but anyway like y'all got this shit in place to protect the kids what the fuck y'all got in place to protect the parents? Okay, who the fuck do I call? Man, if you're a teenager and you 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 see this, you ain't shit. Real talk. You ain't shit. And you probably ain't never gonna be shit. Like, if you don't know that you ain't shit by now, you probably ain't gonna be shit. Like, let's just keep it a buck. I used to think I was going to be the coolest mom in the fucking world. I'm a 90s baby. Can't y'all tell? Like, I'm a straight 90s baby. I thought me and my daughter, was go we was going to be kicking it. We was going to be cool. Baby, no. It's World War Three. Y'all talking about World War Three is coming. That motherfucker already started in my house. I used to judge other moms, too, and, like, and be like, no, I would never handle a situation like that, or I would never, and blah, 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 blah. Stop. Stop yourself right there, because unless you've been through that, situation like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about okay life has a funny way of humbling people so at this point it's time for everybody to stop fucking throwing their opinions out there because you don't know how you're gonna handle that teenager you don't know how you're gonna handle that divorce you don't know how you would handle a certain situation so shut the fuck up because you don't know what how you're gonna handle anything until you actually go through it okay so yeah Cause look at me now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she is big. <laughs> she told the teenagers, they ain't shit, they will never be shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I had to I had to catch my breath after that one. That shit was funny as hell. But hey, she ain't lying about that toddler. Okay, I remember I had explained teenagers like 
to I was trying to explain teenagers to somebody. And you know what teen teenagers, she write about that toddler stage, y'all. Honestly, teenagers act like big toddlers. But it's like it's so scary to have teenagers because teenagers are like toddlers. You know, you know when you tap a, when you tap a toddler's hand, like no, don't touch that. Leave that alone. Stuff like that. And then they do it anyway. Like, they'll do it anyway. Like, teenagers are basically the same way, except they can drive. <laughs> like, that is the most stressful part of raising kids is that teenager stage. So, it's like a big toddler, y'all. They like a big toddler. They want to do everything that they know they ain't supposed to do and can barely even walk. Like some of them, ain't, they ain't even walking yet. You ain't even walking like they think they can walk, but they can't even walk yet. But yet, that's why, y'all, look, I made my teenagers wait as long as possible before I got them a car, got them driver's license, because look, all they friends was out there wrecking their cars. Oh, my mama, bitch. They was all out there wrecking their cars. And I'm just like, why the fuck would I go get my kid driver's license, give my kid a car so they can go out there and just wreck the car and just waste all that fucking money that I just, you know, put on the car? No. So what I did was I waited until like... They just got on my nerves so damn bad that they just wouldn't let me, you know, wait no more. So that's what I did. But by that time, they was a little traumatized already because they had already been in the car with other teenagers that didn't know how to drive. Like my youngest son, he used to tell me that his friends would make him drive their car because they couldn't fucking drive. And everybody was scared to be in the car with them because they couldn't drive. But he could drive. But I wasn't ready for that yet. I wasn't ready for that yet, but he's a good driver. But yeah, y'all. And then he got into an accident. It wasn't him, but he was in a car with his friends and they got into an accident and flipped the car and all that stuff. So, you know, like it's nobody got hurt. Thank God. But like experiences like that, like it, it shows them, but they still don't learn from it. Y'all they still, cause you know what they think. You know what? You already know what my son was thinking. It's because they can't drive. I'm a better driver than them. Mom, I need a car because they can't drive. And every time I get in the car with them, I think I'm going to lose my life. I need my own car. That's basically what he would tell me all the time. So, you know, that was his big explanation every single time. Like, out of all his friends, he was the best driver of them all. They don't learn, y'all. They, they literally have to experience their own, their own mistakes, their own downfalls for them to learn. They want to touch the fire. That's what they want to do. They want to touch, they don't want to get close to it and feel that it's hot. You know, back in the day, we used to get close to it and feel that it, it was hot and back the fuck up. No, and burn the shit out of themselves and actually hold their hand there for a minute just to feel it real good. Like, my advice to you is don't even waste your breath. If you haven't went through the teenager stage yet, don't even waste your breath. Just take those years and just sit back and relax because I promise you, Anything that you tell them is going to go in one ear and literally out the other. They're not going to comprehend any of it. They're not going to listen to you at all. I promise you, they're not going to listen. So you just, you know, teenagers don't listen. They don't listen. Anybody can tell you that has went through the teenager stage, they do not listen. They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. They are not going to listen to you. I promise you that. Just relax. Just relax. Just sit back, relax. Hey, you might feel like a bad parent, but if I had it to do it all over again, that's what the fuck I would do. I would just sit back and relax and just let them figure it out. But if you're a good parent, you're not going to do it. 
we we don't we don't do it none of it you know we're good parents we don't we 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 want to do it but it yeah you're not gonna do it you're not gonna do it it's okay i didn't do it either i know all right you guys y'all enjoy your mother's day take some time for yourself if you don't get to see your kids much spend some time with your kids i know one thing i always used to do was i used to make my kids yes make them um make them make me a mother's day card they had to write in it i had to know like how much they loved me you know this is when they were young like six seven eight nine ten you know like what she said that's when they be chilling that's when they're the sweetest y'all oh my gosh i would do anything to have those days back again y'all the six seven eight six five even five five six, four even four mm, i don't know they're kind of still bad at four they're kind of bad at four but five six seven eight nine ten they just be chilling. They listen. They do what, what you ask them to do. You know, so when they were that age, I used to, to make them um, make me a Mother's Day card. And they would write everything in there about how much they love me and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, they can say whatever they want to. Now, I have evidence and I have proof. I kept every Mother's Day card that they made. Yes, they made hearts. And look, yeah. I'll break it out. I remember when, you know, they say it used to take a village to raise a child. You don't really have that anymore, you know. So there's a lot of single mothers out there. Praise God I didn't have to do that. But, yeah, you guys, just enjoy your day. Try not to stress out too much about these kids because I'm telling you, they are going to do what they want to do. We're good parents. We're good parents. And we want to stir our kids in the right direction so that they don't make the same mistakes that we made. But y'all, they're going to make them. Too high.